gorgeous people, Swolger here. In this video, we're going to show you how to get your HyperX quadcast sounding as crisp, bassy, and clean as this as quickly as possible. So let's jump into it. So the HyperX quadcast comes with a desk stand, but what you're going to want to do is make sure you get it to as close to your mouth as possible. And that means putting it on a boom arm. Guys, I cannot stress enough how important a boom arm is. It's one of those quality of life upgrades where you get it and you're like, why did I not do this sooner? This is such a lifesaver. It gives you so much space on your desk. It gets the microphone close to your mouth. So you don't have to shout so much. And then it just picks up all the sexiness of your voice. Why am I saying sexiness? I don't know. The second question I get asked a lot is, what volume do I keep it on on the bottom of the dial? I keep it on the second smallest dot. And you're gonna see why when we add some filters to it afterwards. And then the third important thing is you're gonna to wanna to set it into cardioid. And that is a setting at the back of the USB microphone. Many people keep it on the default or the wrong setting. Make sure to keep it on cardioid because that's then gonna pick up the sounds coming from around like, kind of like a bubble like this. Don't know what exactly I'm making out yeah but yeah that's it yeah you want to put on that now mm -hmm. mm. three steps in making progress look at you go i'm proud of you next thing you want to do is go into your slobs or obs and go into your audio settings and in here under audio you're going to want to make sure that your hyper x is your mic auxiliary device otherwise sometimes you set up your hyper x but it's actually still picking up your headset instead of your high praise podcast and that 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 is a shame that don't know that's not nice and now time to work some magic we're going to be adding in some filters yes if you're back again we're back to filters filters are a lifesaver in your audio quality now just a bit of a disclaimer and i've said this multiple times the filters that we are going to add in here from here on it doesn't affect how you sound in discord it doesn't affect how you sound in a zoom call it doesn't affect how you sound pretty much anywhere else other than anything that's filtered through OBS or slobs because your OBS and slobs are going to be outputting to your Twitch, to your YouTube, to your voice over recording. So just know that this only affects what it's your OBS or slobs is outputting to. So to add filters, what you want to do is you want to go to this little cogwheel just over here and you're just going to simply copy my filter option. So we're going to click on edit filters. So to add a filter, all you gotta do is click on this plus add filter. Now what you're going to do is you can, you're going to add one, two, three. You're going to add noise depression, a compressor, and an expander. And then when we get to the VS2 plugin, I'm going to show you where you can download it and install it and then how to set that up. It's super quick, super easy, and it makes all the difference in the world. I promise you, it really does. Okay, so noise suppression, you want to keep that on minus 13. On the compressor, I'm going to allow you to pause the video at any point so that you can just check these and then make your adjustments. But also keep in mind, if you're using a different um, microphone, maybe you're just watching this and using maybe like a Razer Siren Mini, or you have a different pitch voice to me, you're going to maybe need to adjust these slightly. But yeah, these are my settings for my compressor. And then these are my settings for the expander. So here you can just pause and copy these. But within the expander is also an amazing feature called the gate. And these these are my settings for the gate and if you have any questions about what these mean let me know down in the comments below i'll answer them and hey also i am live on twitch mondays tuesdays wednesdays and fridays 8 30 a.m south every standard time i spend a lot of time in just chatting so if you have any questions or if you need help with anything love to chat with you guys there while i'm live okay next up is going to be the vs2 plug in which is marvel geq a lot of the times the website is down i get a lot of comments saying that the website is down so what i've decided to do is upload it into my discord channel where you can download it completely for free so all you gotta do is join the discord navigate to the free stuff in the channel section and there you'll find it probably just packaged as a winrar file so you just go download it run through the installation progress once it's installed close obs reopen obs and then add it as a filter so so you'll click filter type and then you should see vs2x uh, plugin and once you do that you can then open up this interface which is going to come up like this so I use a preset already called bright and bassy it, it makes me bassy but it also helps me set with a bit of the high pitches and everything so I literally just click that click activate it brighter and bassy now every time you open up your slobs or OBS this menu is going to open up so make sure to always select 
the the preset that you want to use or you can create a custom preset completely up to you and then you're just going to minimize it while you're streaming and everything when you close obs it closes with this so yeah if this helped you in any way please do leave a like maybe even a little subby sub they are both free but if you really did get value out of this you'll check me out while i'm live on twitch i'd love to just spend so much time with you guys hang out with you guys get to know you guys i mean it's your south african home dizzle over here so i'll see you guys there peace out guys